Hello friends, this video on alcohol phenol ether part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Talk about phenols. We have discussed what is phenol. We'll discuss the preparation of phenol. Right? So phenols are also called carbolic acid. Please note, it is called carbolic acid also. Why? Because it was first isolated from coal tar. Correct? Since it was first uh, isolated from coal tar very early 19th century from coal tar it's called carbonic acid please remember this also it is more acidic than alcohol it is in fact more acidic than water also and we'll talk we'll tell you why so we'll first talk about the preparation of phenol from halloverines uh, from benzene sulfonic acid from diosium salts from cumin from grignard reagent and from phenolic acid. We'll try to prepare phenol from all these. The first is from haloarene. So we'll see this reaction from haloarenes and aryl sulfonates. Let's see the aryl sulfonates first. This is my aryl sulfonate SO3NA. From this I have to form phenol. So what I do is I add NOH minus. So OH minus is a very strong nucleophile. It will replace SO3 ions. So it's a Substitution reaction actually you get OH plus Na2SO3. Pretty easy reaction mechanism actually, so I will not discuss this. Here also from Ari uh, hello arenes. So let's take this chlorobenzene. This also you add this NOH and the temperature has to be good. Right, so in this case also what will happen is this OH minus right strong nucleophile will replace this chlorine. So we get NSA. The second is from benzene sulfonic acid. So I have benzene sulfonic acid, SO3H, same thing, I have an OH, it's a very strong nucleophile, it replaces SO3H, it'll give me OH. This is phenol. The next is from diazonium salt using steam distillation. So we have this salt, diazonium salt. What we do is we take this water, we heat it and we get phenol. I'll show you the reaction. I have this diazonium salt, this N2Cl and you take this water, you heat this you get phenol plus nitrogen comes out and you get HCl right so here also carbocations are formed and this is called benzene diazonium chloride benzene diazonium chloride correct the question is how to form this uh, diazonium salt. So what you can do is you have this M, uh, this compound can react with NaNO2 with some acid. You get this compound N2Cl plus this is what it is. It's not a difficult from diazonium salt. You can just put some water and heat it up a little bit. You get phenol. The next is from cumin. See, this is cumin actually. This is cumin. The common name is cumin. The common name is also isopropyl benzene. Isopropyl benzene. And the IUPAC name is 2 phenylpropane. Right here. IUPAC is 2 phenylpropane. The common name is cumin or isopropyl benzene. Very critical compound and when you oxidize this it is oxidized to cumin hyperoxide and then you can convert this to phenol by reacting it with dilute sulfuric acid let's see this reaction a little complex so but just please pay attention here you will understand this so I have this cumin here In fact, we draw it a little clearly. 
CH, CH3, CH3. Right? This due to double bond, right? This is the electron rich carbon. This carbon is electron rich carbon. Right? We know those are giving electrons. So these groups are also giving electrons. This carbon is electron rich carbon. Right? So when it is oxidized, the electron rich carbon is oxidized. So the CH becomes COH. So if you see this reaction after oxidation, this is something like this. CH3. The carbon here, COH, and this is CH3. Correct because this was the electron rich carbon, so it got oxidized. You got something like this. On this, you add H plus. H plus will attack this oxygen here. In fact, oxygen will attack this H plus because it has lone pair of electrons and this is electron hungry. So, what you get is something like this. C, CH3, CH3, C, O, O. Now here, this oxygen will get a positive charge. So why will oxygen get positive charge? Because oxygen is giving lone pair to this hydrogen. So it will get positive charge. Now this is a good living group. It leaves. If it leaves, this gets a positive charge but that is not good right oxygen to have positive charge so what will happen is this will leave and the same time this carbon instead of forming bond with this it will form a new bond with this oxygen please understand if you oh h2o plus is a good living group but if it leaves its oxygen gets a positive charge that is not good oxygen is an electronegative element and it doesn't want a positive charge so this carbon will form a bond with this oxygen so and this h2o will go off so with this, the product you'll get is this carbon form on this oxygen and this, this, this carbon, right? Correct? In fact, this in the case here, yeah. yeah. This carbon and this carbon has 2 CH3. And now since this bond broke into this fashion, this is negative, this is positive this carbon with a positive charge. Hope you understand. This bond broke in this fashion. This gets negative, this gets positive, this negative and positive forms a bond and this positive comes in this carbon. Correct. Now, I have to what? I have to add a OH- minus to neutralize it. So, I'll just add a OH- minus here. Right. So what with this you get is this compound. Let me draw it here. O C with OH here, CH3 here and CH3. Correct. Now what will happen is this oxygen has a lone pair. Correct. Now if H plus attacks this guy, it will form bond with HOH and it will kick out this guy. So if you see, it forms a band with O and it will kick out this. Correct. So what will happen now is, it will form something like this, OH, and this is kicked out now. Right, the way it is kicked out is, this becomes minus, this becomes plus, the bond breaks in this fashion. Plus. C plus CH3, CH3, OH. And now this is the plus here, and this carbon has a plus charge. This H will say, okay, I'll get rid of this. So it will be double bond form here, right? This, this bond breaks, H plus minus, minus plus forms a bond. So with this, this phenol is something you have already got, and this becomes ketone. This is acetone actually. Correct. So this is my output. Hope you understand. See, this part was simple. This part was simple, right? From here, this part is a little complex where carbon now forms bond with this oxygen. So once that is clear, things are not that difficult. 
Correct. Now the question is how to get cumin. Since we are using cumin, there should we should know how to make cumin, right? So let me draw a line. What you can do is you can take a benzene and you can add this propene, right? In presence of some acid, maybe S3PO4, you will get cumin. C, CH3, CH3. Yes, this is what you'll get. It's pretty easy reaction actually. Correct? So, what will happen is it will form a carbocation. This will be positive and this will be negative according to our Kronikov rule. Correct? And this will get attached here. Hydrogen will be kicked out and this negative charge and this will be formed and that shall come here. So, it's an easy reaction. Now we'll see the preparation of phenol from Grignard reagent. In fact, not very difficult. What we can do is I can have a Grignard reagent which has a benzene attached, MgBr. This guy I can add, I react with oxygen in presence of light. This will give me O2 MgBr. And then you can add water to it, it gives you OH. Pretty easy reaction. Now I'll try to prepare phenol from phenolic acid. So what we can do is we can do a distillation with soda lime here. This is my phenolic acid. Please see. C O O N A. Yes, this is my phenolic acid. What I can do is I can react with NaOH and CO with soda lime. What I get is O N A. And this I can just react with H plus in the acid, I get OH. Correct. This is the way to prepare phenyl, sorry, phenol from phenolic acid. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also Get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.